and he was the 1986 Craft International Champion. And here's 16 year old Flevtina Priachina from the Ukraine, and she's the current European silver medalist. And next to her is 21 year old Valentin Mogili from the European, and he does the European rings, and he's champion in that, and he's warming up on the uh, parallel bars. Now, Natalia Lashanova is just 14 years old, and she's already won a major championship in the 1986 Belgium Masters. So, give it a few of the warms up there. Right, and finally, a very famous name, Valerie Lukin. Valeri is the overall Euro European men's gymnastic champion, and he's practicing on the pommel horse. Privet, hello. Say hello, body. Woof, woof, and all that. Welcome, and thank you very much for coming. Spasiba. Valeri, would you like to show us what to do on the pommel horse? What do you do? Thank you. You might remember from... Well, Lily took up the sport when he was just seven years of age, and in 1986, he was in the Soviet Union national youth champion. And he went on to win the European championships and took individual gold medals on the floor, pommel horse, parallel bars, and a high bar. And he's favorite for the world championships, but sadly, because of his injury, he had to withdraw. But he still has a very good chance. Well done, and thank you very much, Valeri. Well, one of Valentin Monongili's specialities are the parallel bars. Would you like to take it away? Thank you. He's a rising star in the Soviet squad and billed as a future world champion. And Valentin has got his sights set on getting into the Soviet Olympic team. And the Russians have such a strong squad that not the record as good as his makes him sure of a place. Well, one of my favourite gymnastic events is the beam. I think it's amazing that athletes can perform on such a narrow piece of wood. It's just 10 centimetres wide. I think that's extraordinary. Now, Natalia Lashanova is going to give us a demonstration. Good luck, Natalia. Off you go. Well, at just 14, Natalia has already achieved considerable excess. In 1986, she won the Belgium Gym Masters. At 14, Natalia certainly has a marvellous gymnastic career to look forward to. At the backflip. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much, Natalia. Fantastic landing. Well, I've always wanted to have a go on the beam, and now is my chance, because I have one of the coaches that was with me in Russia, and her name is Larisa Lalanina. Would you like to come in here? And she's fantastic, and she's won more Olympic medals than anyone else. And you may remember, I was lucky enough to get a lesson from her on the asymmetric bar. Can you agree? Yeah. Uh, okay. go over? Okay. Okay. I'm taking my shoes off now because I'm dying to have a go on this bar. I can't get them off quick enough. Well, Larissa, can you... Nina is our interpreter. Can you explain um, to Larissa but she certainly does bring back a lot of memories when we were in Russia, as she said, struggling with her shoes. Can you say that to Larissa? I came here and I had a lot of impressions from the Soviet Union. You also, you don't know how proud we all are to have so many talented young people. I hope you will continue your work when you return here. Are you progressing? In gymnastics. Am I progressing in gymnastics? Покажите, пожалуйста. Ha, ha, ha. That's a laugh, isn't it? Right, okay. How do I get on? Hop, 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 hop. Okay. Okay. Давай. Uh, no. Uh, whoa, I've got to fall off. I am, I am. Okay. Stop laughing, you two. Right. Now then. Ha. Huh. What? 
Okay, right. Grace, that's what they do, isn't it? So, whoo, whoo. I'll do a turn round. Okay, and now I'll do a, a balance. See if I can. Oh. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. And now I'll just do. Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I think I did a little bit of gold medal there. Well, Thank you very much. I don't think I could ever have the standard that you have with your gymnastics. Thank you very, very much. Spasiba. Spasiba, Nina. Thank you. One of the most spectacular gymnastic events is the vault. The only problem with this event is that the athletes need a huge run-up to the apparatus, normally 25 metres with 3 metres for matting for landing. And that means that we've had to open the studio door and take the run-up right out into the road. And three gymnasts here are... Your name? Valeri? No? Look. Look. Ah, I've got you. And your name? Valentin. Valentin. Alexi. Alexi. Ah, got you. Okay, would you like to... Do your first fault, Valentin. Valeri. And that's Valeri, and he's going to do... That was a Sukahara with a half twist. And next is Valentin. He's running up there. And he's going to do a half somersault. It's a half somersault, well landed. And next is Alexei. Again, this is a Sukahara, but this time this is with a full twist. Oh! Oh! Careful. Nasty landing. You're right. Well done. Absolutely marvellous. Despite that little tumble at the end, you make it look so easy. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for coming in. And good luck with the rest of your stay. Hope it goes well. Enjoy the rest of Britain. <laughs> okay. Now, um, if you would like to see those gymnasts and another 36 of them in action, well, they're appearing at the Daily Mirror USSR Gymnastics and Sports Acrobatic Display, which takes place at Alex.